or here in Atlanta. You just told me this is the hot spot for oh. acting, which I didn't even know about. So I recently transitioned to six foot. Before I used to put six one. Uh, it was legit because I put on my shoes. I'm six foot one. Uh, dude, you are yeah. pretty much Yao Ming and hottest Asian girls and least hottest Asian girls. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Um, maybe Korean girls. How did your parents feel about the acting pursuit? They have no fucking clue. You didn't tell your fucking parents about your acting. That's awesome. A classic Asian move. You I mean, only tell them when there's money. What's up, dude? I haven't seen you in, what, how long has it been? Bro, I think uh, you said you saw me at uh, one of the restaurants. Yeah, that was after we graduated. I think it was like a year after or something. Yeah, I, I transferred from uh, school. So you went to NC State, right? After? Yeah. How was that? <laughs> Not I mean, good? <laughs> No, uh, my best friend was there. Oh, okay. You know, Burton. Um, yeah. So. Did you like uh, NC State more or Wilmington? Is that the, rec the rec center yeah. is like unmatched. NC State? I mean, uh, Wilmington. Well, Wilmington's so nice, it's, dude. It's, it's the best. That's actually how we met, you know? It's we actually the best. Like, I don't think anything's ever going to match that. It was nice, so, bro. The views, the girls. The basketball the, court. The basketball courts, dude. So I mean, many. That's actually how we met. We, we, we played basketball. I think that, that, that's how I it did. started. We played basketball together. I was like, wow, there's a tall Asian. Rare. <laughs> how tall are you? Uh, six foot. Damn, son. I'm With, so Without jealous. shoes on. But, but I, I recently transitioned to saying like, <laughs> uh, so I recently transitioned to six foot. Before I used to put six one. Uh, but it was legit because I put on my shoes. I'm six foot one. Uh, dude, you are yeah. pretty much Yao Ming in like every way. <laughs> That's insane. You know I mean, how rare that either, is? It's either Yao Ming or it's fucking Jeremy Lin. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah Those are great compliments. I, I used to be called Jeremy Loon all the time. Um, but yeah, if you guys didn't know, uh, welcome to the podcast. This is Kevin. What's your last name? Tien? Tien. Tien. I wanted to pronounce it right. Uh, my friend here is going to be, go ahead and hop on his Instagram now before, so you can be cool because he's going to blow up, dude. Yeah. It's, uh, actually Kevin Tien. Which is sick because that's such an actor thing to do too. <laughs> it, it really is. And I just, um, got my website going today. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's a uh, debut. Um, what's the website? Like actually, actually Kevin Tien. Kevin Tien. Nice dude. Uh, Burton made it for me. Oh, so, sick yeah. dude. I don't think I've met Burton. No, I'm thinking, did he yeah. go to Wilmington? Uh, NC State. Okay, yeah, so I'm no, probably not. But dude, um, how, okay, so I followed your journey. We went to college together, we played a little bit of sports, and then um, I remember after you graduated, you went to NC State, I, I ran into you, and then since then, I've been following your social media, and you really took a turn into the world of entertainment, but mainly acting, which is insane, because it's not something that I've always wanted to do, but it's something that I've always admired Asian actors, because it's rare, Nowadays, it's finally blowing up, thank God. And what started? How did that start? The passion Damn, and the Okay, so you want me to go in there? Yeah, okay. I want to go, the whole story, tell All me. All right, um, so you know, one, one day, right? Uh, <laughs> to be honest with you, I was, I was failing class in uh, NC State. Oh shit. I was failing class. And, Bad uh, Asian. I had to. Bad Asian. <laughs> uh, I had to take an, retake an exam. And in order for you to retake an exam, you know, kind of, I don't know if this is going to haunt me, but like I bullshitted and went to the mental health counselor. I do that too. You know, and then she gave me a note. But like, what it started was, I went in there, first fucking thing, I walk in, right? Mm. Kelly, her name is. Uh, okay. She said, have you ever thought about acting? Oh, really? Just like first, right away. First fucking thing. Wow. I've never, like, I don't even know her name. Yeah. You know, she doesn't know who the fuck I am. Yeah. And she's like, yeah, um, you ever thought about acting? And I'm like, um, no. Wow. But. And that's how sure. it started. Yeah. And wow. so from that, um, I was a little intrigued because I'm, I'm a, I was like a lost soul. Okay. You know, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. Like, yeah, most people at that age uh, are like that. I was which is awesome. marketing, bro. Like, I, that's what I did. <laughs> I have no fucking interest in that shit, bro. Like, what the that's fuck am I doing? So, marketing, dude? so yeah. yeah, I did that. And then like. I think my first or second meeting later, she basically like started writing down like, hey, uh, first steps, like, you know, like, oh, first of all, the reason why she said that, I asked her like, hey, um, she said, you remind me of my actor friends. And I'm like, how the fuck do I remind you of your actor friends when I've never even yeah. spoke word to you, you know? Wow. Um, and she wrote me oh. like uh, headshot photographers, wow. uh, acting really classes, 
and all that shit. She, I still have like some fucking notes that she gave me, and uh, she even gave me like this little. She's an advisor or what? She's a mental health mental health counselor. counselor? Okay. Like yeah, huh? Yeah. What the um, fuck? That's crazy. Yeah, she got me into it. Th- this was 2019. Oh, okay. and it so was my last semester in uh, college. Okay. Because uh, I basically. I needed one extra semester to graduate. Right. I was fucking failing. Um, so what was your play after that? Like, let's say you graduate, and then what was your next move? Uh, so once that happened, I got signed to an agency. Oh, I think, sick. But normally, though, you need, like, a little bit of, like, uh, student films. Yeah. Or, like, indie shit that you got to, like, work on. How did on you get signed? Because. Yeah, because your look? Yeah. Got it. It is a time where, and you're... And this is like you're lucky yeah. because you're tall yeah. and you're Asian. Yeah. Because it's like there's not a lot of Asian actors. Most actors that are guys have to be somewhat tall. Yeah. Like the guy, the Vietnamese guys I was telling you yeah. about that was in a tourist guide. Yeah. He's like six one, six yeah. two, so he's the exact same height. You have the same. You have a build for it. Yeah. So that's like perfect, dude. Yeah, dude. The like, rarity of that. But to honestly explain though, uh, mm-hmm. I got signed and I did my first industrial. You know, like company uh, internal videos. Right. And then um, after that, I didn't hear it was like crickets for a little bit. And then March, you know, 2020 happened and, you know, COVID. Shut oh, down. yeah, that's right. Okay. And then? And then uh, acting just stopped for me. Uh, I took my first acting class in 2019, though. Okay. But uh, it, it, it stopped and I just fucking like got depressed and like lost my. So on, and then twenty, tw- uh, all of well, I feel like a lot of people did. That. Uh, a lot of people did. Yeah, I mean, so, it's not an excuse, but yeah, yeah. So during that time period, you just took like a standstill. Did you do like something else during that time? Or? Bro, that time, dude. Uh, for the first couple months, I didn't work. Damn. Yeah, I didn't work. I didn't uh, either. I didn't do shit. We uh, couldn't open the shop. Stop going to the gym. Oh, dude, you know, that's that, bad. That, those are, like, important things. Those are huge. Because, like, for your mental and shit. Yeah. yeah um, and you start looking different, too, and you're like, fuck. Bro. Because you look jacked now. I told you that. That's yeah, the first thing I said. Now I'm in you great shape. Like, now I'm, jacked. like, in the best shape of my life. Yeah, we'll have to talk about your diet after. Yeah. But, um, so, okay, so then after COVID, yeah. what was the next transition to getting you back into the passion? Um, so, uh, basically, one of my friends, Nathan, he actually, like, we, we talk a lot, and he was going through some, like, you know, breakup shit and all uh-huh. that. And, like, we sort of, like, motivate each other. Okay, um, that's good. And gyms were open. I started working out again, like, I think September 2021. Right. Uh, and, like, got into it, slowly started building myself, you know, like, started seeing people again. Because yeah. for a little bit, I just kind of, like, isolated myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, just like everybody. But um, last year, 2022... Uh, that's when I did my you first acting class again. Wow. I mean, second. But uh-huh. um, ever since then, I haven't stopped. That acting uh-huh. class, where was it? Was it in uh, Raleigh? Raleigh. It's called Moonlight Stage Company. Wow. And yeah. then what was your decision? Because we're here, by the way, we're here in Atlanta, yeah. which is like now you just told me this is the hot spot for oh. acting, which I didn't even know about. Yeah. I knew, I thought I always thought it was the number two or three. Yeah. But wow, it's number one now. Now, what was the big decision on moving here? Because that's you. You just moved here like a month ago. So, to be honest with you, ever since I, like, learned about acting, yeah, um, people always told me, like, Atlanta was, like, the place to go yeah. for, like, newer actors and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. And I watch a lot of, like, YouTube videos, like, to educate myself and all that. Of course. Um, and, um, you know, I've always been, like, a talker, you know, like, a big talker, like, yapping all the fucking time. Like, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna but do not that, doing bitch. it. Yeah, like, yeah, bitch. Uh, like, and then, like, I think uh, maybe it's maturity or something. Like, yeah. something, like, a switch flipped this year. And, like... You sent it. I was like, yep. Uh, well, it's mainly because, like, I look like this right now. I'm only going to get older. Yeah. And I got to, like, preserve, like, the roles I can get right now. That's smart, know? dude. Mm-hmm. And, like, man, you're really capitalizing on the youth and the timing and everything. Like, this is honestly the perfect timing for Asian actors. It's because there's never been a better time, dude. You la- yesterday's podcast that I filmed with Matt, um, we actually got into acting. We randomly like yeah. was talking about it, and we were talking about uh, the difference between how like you know how, like cancel culture, right? Yeah. Like we're we're currently in it. We're kind of it's not as bad, but yeah. it, 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 we're still in it. And um, there's a lot of roles that are being switched to like uh, from white actors to black actors yeah. and stuff like that. But I, I, in my opinion, think that they should just do what the Asian community did. Instead of 
changing someone who used to be white to another race just make a whole new character yeah, that's that, way that, cooler. That's, that's, that's what we've exactly. been doing, bro. It's I, I fire. Say, like, don't change the history of that's characters. That's what I'm you saying. Know? Like, make new ones. And, like, there's no problem with that, you know? Like, just fucking... Well, who's your favorite uh, actor right now? Or in, in the... Ever or right now? Uh... Probably Leo. Oh, yeah. DiCaprio. Go. He's probably, like, number, Goated. number one for me. Yeah. Uh, I'd say, like, uh, Bradley Cooper's another one. Oh, I like Bradley Yeah, Bradley a lot. Cooper yeah. from Hangover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Jake shit. Gyllenhaal, bro. He, he's really he's good, a, too. He's great. Johnny you know, Depp. You know who's a great Asian actor? Uh, Steven Yun. Oh, yeah, he's, he's Bro, well, I just finished Beef, season one. Have you seen Beef? Bro, I'm, I'm ashamed to say, like, I watched like one episode and I passed the fuck out. Fuck, like, do you bro, have? I have I have like fucking focus problems these days. I, I feel you. I can't I even you. like, like I'm just so busy that I can't I get even it. like fucking. I, oh, also, and this brings up a question too. Yeah. Being an aspiring actor, yeah. is it different watching stuff now? Yes. Because you're like now analyzing like, yes. oh, how did that person do? You're Absolutely. not even enjoying the story. <laughs> Absolutely. For, for a little bit, I like actually made it like a task to watch like Oscar winning performances. And then seeing it. In, in order to like, try to make myself better but like you don't really want to imitate what another actor does of course not you, you know? have to find so, your own style i kind of stopped that mm -hmm. uh, and now i just gotten to the point where you know i've been trying to watch the witcher yeah yeah yeah. i love that shit but like i, I couldn't even I fucking do like the damn fucking third season like i'm like oh the, the late season sucks are you talking the, about the don't news? tell me what's going on there. i don't know i, I saw like, i didn't even want to watch it i started and i was like fuck oh, this. i heard i heard it's terrible, it's terrible compared yeah. to the rest but okay now i have a question yeah. um I've always heard this from from actors. I don't know whether it's outdated or not, yeah. but is this true? Do you think that in order to get into the acting world, you have to start as a typecast actor and then from there you get outside of it and then like you get the moral? And then example being mm -hmm. like back in the day, yeah. a great name, like Matthew McConaughey, right? He was typecasted as a rom-com actor. Yeah. So he only did rom-com until he branched out, got his name known, and then he did everything else. Or do you think that's still the strategy now? Obviously, you're not going to know the answer, but I'm just saying, like, what's your opinion on that? So, I think, uh, realistically, yes. Yeah. You would still Smart. be typecasted uh, in the beginning. And as a matter of fact, like, it sh it's not a bad thing. Yeah. You should, like, use that to your advantage. You know, you know mm -hmm. like, if not, you rather get fucking cast than no cast, you That's know? That's right. Like, yeah. So, Dude, when you took your acting class, did they do that? Where they, no. they like, told each other what their typecast? They didn't do you, that? That's, some, that's different. Like, acting class, like, there's business of acting versus mm. actual learning of like acting which one did you take or both i research business of acting i didn't take uh, no business uh business classes for that interesting yeah, man. it's about like your you know networking yeah. marketing yeah um because a lot of it is that it's resume, about connections learning your resume how to how to write that shit you know how to how to create like reels and shit you know like demo clips for casting Ooh. directors to see uh also um what else have you casted for anything big yet no okay i'm i'm almost like i've never i've never casted i've only casted on zoom for like a fucking game show like not yeah. like not actual acting. i'm thinking like yo how crazy like you sit in the waiting room right yeah. you got a bunch of motherfuckers that look just like you because yeah. it's always like some typecast shit then now you have to act like i'll be so nervous so nowadays like is it different self tapes are the big thing oh really so I actually have like an audition set up. Like, I don't know if you saw. I it. did it's see like, it. Yeah, it's like yeah. a big ass blue screen. Um, and your first stage of like getting. So how it goes is like a uh, casting director. Um, they're looking for a role. Like production reaches out, and the casting director will be like, "All right, uh, agencies, what you guys got? You know what you guys got? Oh, okay, fucking. Uh, we're looking for a six foot tall Asian man. And after that, they're gonna look at your resume." Um, your clips, and they'll be like, okay. Um, we'll give them an audition. Yeah, I see. And then after that, you'll get a self tape. Does the agency take? Do you have to pay the agency up front, or do they mm -hmm. only get commission? Only commission. So wow. they're they're that's why they're they actually that's great. Get, yeah like big agencies they will drop you if you don't like make money because what they're doing is they're searching for roles for you, and they don't get paid until you get you a get role. Paid. And usually union gigs is oh. about 10%, uh, and non-union gigs is 20%, okay. like commission. So, yeah, uh, Interesting. Yeah, and once the self-tape is done, 
if they like you, they'll give you a call back. Yeah. Usually, like I said, the first stage is always a video now. Yeah. I think after it was already like happening that way, but like once COVID hit, it really like sped that up. Now everything's self tape. Wow. Much, like the first stage. So, so like, let's say there's someone listening to this podcast that wants yeah. to get into acting. Uh, it doesn't matter the race, doesn't matter the age. First thing is taking acting classes, That's uh, headshots. One. I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, acting class is number one. Uh-huh. Uh, headshots. And then? Uh, you would, I would say join Facebook groups. Facebook groups. Facebook groups, there's like, so there's like, one of them is like NC Filmmakers. Like, that's what I did, like in okay. Raleigh. Okay. Uh, and, um, you know, people are looking for people to act. Yeah, and know? then after that, do you... Do you search for agencies or do they come to you? Like no, no, of- no. Uh, usually you would have to reach out. Okay, so you reach out to agencies. Yeah. Do you have to have the self-taped stuff first or? Ideally, yes. Okay. Because even even auditioning for like non-big name things, yeah, you would still want to like have your self- In these you know? self-taped video, like uh, clips and stuff, what do you do in these? You're telling about yourself or are you doing no, like Okay, so usually most so of the time. I'm new to this. Oh uh, yeah, most yeah. of the time it's, uh, you start out with a, 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 you get a slate. A slate is like uh, Kevin Tan, Atlanta, Georgia. Ah, uh, I see. You know, like yeah. that type of shit. Um, or, and sometimes you have to say height or they'll be like, uh, if you're willing to shave or sh- like random shit like that. Mm-hmm. That's usually like, 30 seconds I would say okay and then after that uh, you get like sides um, from your agent or you can also submit yourself that'll be on like actors access or like backstage or casting ne- uh, networks yeah um, but uh, once you get sides you got to do the work you know memorize it you know uh, write down like how know, hard is it to memorize a script or memorize a monologue or a side Wait, what was it sides Sides, yeah. Sides. What is that? What is it? What does that mean exactly? Basically, like a like a, they'll give you a script to audition. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So how hard is it to actually memorize that? And how much do you actually have to memorize? One hundred percent. So, it's not necessary one hundred percent. And like usually they don't say like you have to do it. Yeah, but it shows. But like it's easier for you to connect to the character when you're like yeah. knowing what you're What's saying instead of like you know sometimes you're looking at a piece of paper you're like, and then you got to look at the camera. You know, like, because always, so what happens is, like, you see the camera right there, and your reader, someone who's, like, reading the other part, will be, like, right next to the camera, like, like a little bit further back. And they'll be reading in the They'll video. be reading, and you'll be looking, like, that way, uh, you know, sort of thing. So, um, but it's harder if you're, like, looking <laughs> at your lines work. and, like, you know, talking, yeah, and yeah. you got to listen to what, so when they're talking... You shouldn't be looking at your paper. Yeah, you should be into the act. Yeah, but yeah. it's 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 a learning process. Like That's when I first started auditioning, yeah, bro. Uh, sometimes fucking, dude, it'd be like times it would take like three to four hours Whoa. to do like one thing. Now it takes like an hour max. So like while you're doing all this, yeah. you obviously are like, are you working a part time to try to maintain? And is it hard to balance everything? Yeah. So I right now I just started like a, a sales job. Okay, but is it hard to balance that? And uh, it, it is, but how many hours do you put in one thing, and how many hours do you put in acting a week? Mm, um, so acting, I try to do at least two classes a week. Okay, uh, that's they're like three to four hours usually. <sighs> okay, damn. Um, I'm gonna try to make it a habit where I study acting every day, like yeah. at least spend thirty minutes on some sort of acting. Yeah, uh, and I'm also like busy as fuck because I do, you know. Uh, work out Monday through Friday. Yeah, you have to. You know, I, I got to stay in shape. Got to maintain the... And then yeah. I do uh, Muay Thai like four oh, to five shit, days a week. Oh, shit, that's sick, bro. I just started uh, February. Damn, you're going to kick a motherfucker. Dude, that's awesome, dude. that dude. shit is fucking... Yeah, I used to do boxing, normal yeah. boxing, but that's Muay Thai. That's the game. biggest thing that like changed my physique. Yeah? It, it, so much like cardio? Dude. So bro. how do you... Okay, what's your diet like to maintain this? Oh, bro. Style? Okay, so... I'm a huge dessert guy. Yeah. I fucking love desserts. Do you track macros or no? I do. Uh, Monday through Friday. So you're into no, that No, not Monday. Five days a week. Okay. And then like two days, I'll eat like crazy shit. Like okay. People, if they look lifestyle. on my Instagram, they'll see like whatever. I'm yeah, doing. lifestyle, bro. You gotta. Well, I have to because I'm already But you're like, also big enough to where it can, you can kind of get away with it. Where yeah. you're smaller, it's tougher because no, those have to be cut a little bit yeah. more. I would say, um, but usually my morning starts out with like bison and eggs. Oh, so you do eat breakfast? Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, bison I eggs. At lunch, I'll do like bison, a... Bison? Uh, Jeez, you bougie over here. I mean, <laughs> you know, bison. Bro, chill, chill. <laughs> no, it's, it's just... Uh, it's just uh, you gotta invest lean. in yourself. Yeah, you know? lean, lean, lean. Yeah, lean. eggs and then um, salad for lunch. Okay. Like a chicken salad okay. for lunch. Yeah, yeah. I make it like here, spring yeah, mix yeah. and all that bullshit. Yeah. Uh, and then nighttime, I, I sort of like... It's like granola and like frozen yogurt and like just... I make like a big Bro, ass it? bowl. Yeah. Like a big ass bowl. That's all you eat? A whole day? Yeah. It's about 2,400 calories. Huh? What's the biggest meal? Because how the, the fuck the is that 2,400? I, I eat a lot of like... Like a lot of granola? Bro, your yeah, meal dude. is a dessert? Yeah. Your whole meal? Because the problem with me, bro, I have no self-control. I Same. I have, I to have fast. zero I self-control. Fast for that reason. So if I don't eat like my little... Keto, I use like keto bread and shit. I say I make like same, you know same, like same. French toast and all that yeah. shit. Um, and if I don't eat some desserts like throughout the week, on the weekends I spaz. Yeah. Wait. Let's. Uh, I'm I really thinking spaz, about this. Man. How fucking big is this bowl, bro? It has to be preposterous because you're eating. It's like, it God goes, damn, bro! Yeah. How do you not get tired of that shit? I, How much uh, protein are you hitting me. with that? Uh, two. 47. How? Okay, so the bison and eggs obviously is a lot. Yeah. Is it the granola? I mean, the salad can't be much, but like... The salad, I, I put like... You put a lot of chicken. I put a lot of chicken, and I put a, a can of sardines. Uh, I eat okay. a can of sardines every day. Okay. Do you uh, the chicken breast or chicken... Uh, so I buy this like pre, pre-cooked shit from Costco. I'm not uh, about to cook that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like the strip up. ones like that are yeah, like the so, microwave and shit? Yeah, 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 yeah I, I measure it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, yeah. it's easier that way, too. Yeah. Damn, dude, you have to sacrifice. Yeah, that's a sacrifice. Cause yeah. I know how it was when I w- I used to actually like try to cut and yeah. shit. I'm like, dude, you have to do that consistently to keep the, that in my body. Yeah, the problem is though, I eat crazy on the weekends. Yeah, so that's I that's not a problem. Fuck, um, fuck that phone. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I eat crazy on the weekends. Yeah. So if I want to like indulge and not feel guilty on the weekends, I have to watch myself on the weekdays. Yeah. You know, I have to do it a lot of It is about cardio. that. It's about yeah. balance. But, dude, that's insane. Man, you, you've got it. you got dedication for this life. Bro. And I didn't realize how much it took to be an actor. Like, Dude, it's it's a, it's a whole process. I'm, I mean, like, my, my career acting, and I thought about it when yeah. I, I was on TV that one time with yeah. uh, Ken Jeong and stuff. Oh, yeah, and I, I saw this. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. I, after I, I was like, dude, that's so fun. Like, I, being on TV was fun. And I was like, what if I, that was the time where I was considering, like, oh, what if I took acting class and yeah. stuff? Life got too busy, and then I got tattoos. And obviously, if you get tattoos, it's tougher. So you have to like cover it, or you have to typecast into a tattoo role. Yeah. But um, and I was like, you know, maybe one day I'll yeah. cover, and then just try to see it. But I just don't. I don't think I have. You have the legit like passion. I can tell because well, you're you've moved to Atlanta, bro. Like you, you did yeah, it all. I'm doing whatever it takes. Yeah. Man. Where right. for me, it would be more of like a oh, for if it was fun for yeah. fun. Like I think I'm more passionate about like. I'm I'm really into houses, yeah. like buying and renting out houses. I mean, that's, that's one my, of my goals too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, road. like I'm I'm really into that and like the social media stuff. I yeah. I do like, but dude, it's so fun to see someone so passionate about some a craft like that. Yeah, man. Like it, I started out terrible. Like to be honest, no, with everybody you, does. I, so, I, no? I started out really bad. You know, like yeah, like I started like very bad, and um, I had to like, you know, classes changed me. You know, uh, I used to have like really bad anxiety, as a matter of fact. Yeah, really bad up until like twenty five. Oh wow! And how old are you now? I just turned twenty seven. Uh, so you're a year older than me. Ago. Yeah, and um, what happened was like I realized like yo like you want to be on film. Yeah, and you know some people like you you they can function off anxiety and yeah. like be fine and all that. I'm not one of those people. Yeah. Like, it fucks me up. I, I, I love anxiety. Like, I'll be, like, shaking and That's shit. crazy. You know, I like, even it. back in college, bro, doing the fucking... Wow. Uh, the business presentations and all that bullshit. Dude, I'm like, motherfucker. Dude. And I'd be sitting there like, bro, you're six foot tall, yeah. okay? You know how much I wish I was that tall? You know, like, you you're, you're six foot tall, you're like, you know, I, I used to be bigger back then, too. So yeah. I was like, why the fuck are you acting like a bitch? You yeah. Know, like a little pussy. And it... it I never thought the day like me not having any anxiety would like happen. Yeah, you know? that's great, man. I sort of it. It was like a switch for me. Um, yeah, I like just like stood still and I was like, "Yo, man, like you you want to do good, right? You want to be on film? Like this shit has to go." Some people have that, you know. And yeah. life for me has always been um, like I'm not an anxious person socially. Yeah, I get anxiety over like small things, little things, but socially I've never been anxious. Like the the presentations, I love those. 
Damn. Like, bro, I was the guy I, I noticed, who could like, bullshit I could that. Yeah, I, uh, I love this yeah, lifestyle. But it, it it is different when you're thinking about acting. Because, like, I've, like, tried for shits and giggles to do, like, a script with someone yeah. just for fun. I'm like, bro, this shit is so hard to not laugh. It's so hard to not to be, like, legitimately serious in that shit. <laughs> Messing around. Um, I was going to ask, okay, so... If you were to typecast yourself, yeah. what do you think you'd be? Because I have one for you, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to see what you would say first. Okay, so... Um, I'm obviously like a I would a say gangster. most people... I'll say what people tell me. Yeah. So people usually tell me like either... Um, one of them is like a triad son. Oh, that's a good one. That's uh, a good... I was going to get towards that. Yeah, that. triad son is one of them. Um, you know, anything like action related... I, I could say. see action. Yeah, action yeah. related. Um, I thought an Asian cop. I can definitely do like cops. I could definitely see cops. Like a, cop, uh, right? a lot of people say bad guy. I don't know why. I could see you being a bad guy in a gang, like a, yeah, like a like, John Wick. You're like one of the gang guys. Yeah, they always say that. Um, but in terms of, I don't know, like I could see you in a rom too, dude. That's actually one of them. I could definitely see you in they, ROM. And because of the tourist the, uh, guide, bro, yeah. I was like, dude, why isn't there more Asians doing ROM? Yeah, I'm definitely, uh, that's one of the, like the. You'd kill it. Yeah. You'd kill that shit. shit. Yeah, bro. Um, you know how much, fuck it, wait, are you single? Yeah. You know how much fucking girls you'd get off of that shit? Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah I was in a ROM com. Yeah, that's on Matthew McConaughey shit. Uh, speaking of girls, bro, like, I'm totally focused. Yeah. Like, I haven't. So I've been using like okay, so since like college, like eighteen probably. Yeah. I've been using like Tinder and Bumble dating and apps shit. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And like you know, but I deleted all that. Yeah. Shit this year, pretty much. Yeah. So um, I'm going through that problem right now where I, I'm in it yeah. all, and I, I'm so bad that I have like Tinder Platinum and shit, and it's fun and all. But yeah. but here's the problem. Here's the problem. As a man who's in your twenties, especially yeah. even in your thirties that has goals and aspirations, the biggest thing that's going to set you back, and I hate to say it, but it is women. It's not so much like a relationship. A relationship can be great, but it's the fucking around. Like fucking around, being on the streets, because that takes time, money, effort. Now you're stressed out about someone, all that stuff, where all that could have been into a focus, like you're, like you're doing right now. Yeah. yeah, and I feel like some of the biggest, like most successful people had to take that sacrifice. Dude. So I'm about to do it soon. All my... Uh well, aside from the ones already dating somebody, um, we're all going to like that narrow fuck mindset. Fuck everything. Yeah, fuck everything Be else. Be gay. I'm, you know? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> fuck everything else, you know. It's 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 a big sacrifice. Yeah, when when the right girl comes, like, she'll come. Yeah. Like, I don't got to like, I'm not searching for shit, you know. I, I need to do that, that, bro. Mm -hmm. I need, And I feel like that, that just brings so much time and success. And But the problem with me is women. <laughs> you I know, understand. like trust me. I, I mean, I understand. I you know, know, I know. It's I, so tough. I, I totally get it. You know, but, but um, I, I, I set a date with my friends. They're gonna stop vaping, and I'm gonna stop dating apps. Vaping starting October. Vaping is a. Uh, they're into that. that. I'm not vaping. Okay. Good. They're they're gonna stop vaping. Yeah, that, I'm gonna terrible, stop dating man. apps. I don't even vape. Yeah, vape. The I do drink. That's my vice. That's I drink. Terrible. Yeah, that's bad for your body. I, I try to. I'm learning how to. I mean, nothing against like other people, but I'm learning how to have fun sober. Yeah. You know, like I don't want to, you know, just. I think part of me drinking is also with dating. Because whenever I'm like on, on, on dates with girls, I'm like, oh, we're getting Oh, it definitely drink. loosens yeah. you up for sure. Fuck. Well, it's, it's also like half of the shit that we're doing is eating and drinking. Yeah. So that's like, fuck. So, so that's why like if I do cut that out. I'm like, bro, it, it's honestly like, have you seen Limitless with Bradley Cooper? Yeah, of course, of course. That could be the pill. Just stop talking to girls for yeah. a bit. And then you're, you're now you're like, oh shit, I could do everything. Yeah. I mean, look. <laughs> it's crazy to think about. Everybody has their vices. Yeah. You know, everybody does. Minus women. Um, uh, women was one, uh, it was one, one of them for me. Uh, yeah. And I used to follow like a lot of, like, I don't care. You know, I, I used to follow like a lot of chicks. Yeah. Like random like Instagram mm -hmm. models and all that. But, right. Like, I started, I deleted a lot of them. A Good. lot of them. Good because shit. Because. No temptation, just focus. I, I don't want none of that shit. And like. What's, That's great, like, man. Sometimes I sit there and like, what the fuck is wrong with you, dude? You know, no, like, no. You know, like. what? I should be the one saying that. Not about myself. Not, I should be looking at you and being no, like, no, when I did, when I did. Oh, oh yeah. When I, was I did, say that, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. yeah, what the fuck is wrong with you? You're like, yeah, bro. You're looking at all these fucking chicks, okay? For what? You know, like. But that time. was back then when I didn't have, like, the pure focus mindset. That's true, man. You know? 
I think I'm right now I'm going through that like era personally yeah. where I was focused. I had a girlfriend. I was really dialed in. And then after that, I this past year I have been like teetering. Like I've been traveling, having fun. It's a lot of fun. But and I've been doing some brand deals, but it's not like narrow focused like I used to be. And like I'm I at least am aware of that and I'm like, all right, fuck, I gotta dial back at some point. I gotta get I gotta get back to like workout routine everything because i'm like you I'm don't right. work out anymore i do i work out four days a week but it's not it's not as intense as it, i have a home gym mm. and um it's like like let's say we'll do a, sh a shoulder chest day right yeah. i'm doing two workouts chest two workout shoulders and some abs and each one is like three sets it's, it's not as Damn, before it? yeah see what i'm saying <laughs> see what i'm saying yeah, yeah but back then it used to be like uh three workouts chest uh two workouts shoulders two workouts for triceps and some uh, yeah. abs and stuff you know that used to be like really intensive but you know i i i like to use an excuse of like oh it's life leisure and stuff but you know it, it is a lot of it's my time is with, with girls dates and stuff i gotta dial that back dude so i want to tell you this though um if you're already into like exercise and all that shit, yeah and i would say right now because you're, I'm 27. You're, you're what? 26? Yeah, I'm 25, turning 26 in like four real, days. Real soon. Yeah. From here and on, bro, your body is only gonna like. It it it, it, it might just maintain start, and then go down. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And like for me, it's like, yo, I need to keep pushing right now. If not, if I just stop, everything's gonna go downhill. You know. I have a question for you. Yeah. You don't have to answer it. You if you if you say no, just say no. Yeah, Do you think at any point in your life you'll hop on TRT? Uh, no. Yeah. I feel like I'm gonna. Now, 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 let me ask you this. And do you think it'll be tough if you get a role and a position where they're like, bro, it's a superhero position, like on some Simu Lu? Although, I don't think Simu Lu. I don't think any don't of think those dudes are really like on, on the yeah. like that, though. Like, it's, you gotta be like The Rock or something. Yeah, shit. The Rock is. Yeah, I'm all <laughs> awesome, yeah, he, awesome. he's, he's on like. He's on like. You the, think Henry Cavill is? Yeah. Yeah, I think so yeah, too. That motherfucker big, bro. He, His shoulders are huge. Yeah, he he's definitely on the sauce. Nothing wrong with it. No, no, I th I actually uh, encourage if you're getting a role like yeah. that, fucking get on sauce. Because if you don't get on sauce, you're not gonna look good for the role. The point is like, someone else is gonna get on the sauce, and yeah. if you're not willing to, if that's what it takes. You know, and that's what bodybuilding is like. Yeah. Like Somebody it all started started natural, and then one person's on the sauce. He's gonna win everything. And you're like, fuck, Man, fuck. Like, now I gotta uh, get on the sauce, right? Yeah, it's one of my favorite uh, fitness influencers yeah. recently converted to the sauce, and Christian Guzman. I knew you were gonna say that. Yeah, he's, did you? He's uh, on the you sauce. went to one of his gyms, right? I did. I actually met him. Yeah. I embarrassed the fuck out of myself. You talk about being nervous. That was one yeah. of the times. It wasn't like I've met a lot of famous yeah. people. I've met Ken. I've met like. Uh, fucking like the randomest people you can think of yeah. but i didn't expect to meet him and he was the reason i started working but out But you went to his gym though yeah well here's the thing uh his gym is packed and like you, you're like what are the odds he's here on this random day yeah i was he, just there on a random like, ass day now. right yeah. um and another thing is i i was working out i didn't see him yeah. so i was like okay I, it was chris bumstead's event so there was a long ass line to meet Crim Spumstead, yeah. but I was like, I'm good. I was honestly there just to check out the gym and work out. Yeah. I randomly ran into Max Juning. He's a cool guy, yeah. normal guy. Randomly ran into Shali, cool guy. I took pictures with them. I was like, okay, cool. And Chris is the reason I got into fitness oh, a yeah. long time ago. Yeah, I, I watched a YouTube video on him and I was like, dude, I gotta get into this. Yeah. So that's how it started. And so I'm in this kitchen. We're just about to leave too. Yeah. So I'm expecting, I'm not, oh, I'm done. We're yeah. about to leave fucking christians right there he's like what's up man like you want to hey you want to like get a picture and i'm like fuck <laughs> I, was fucking, I started smiling i was like oh yeah what's up dude and he's like yeah what are you doing here i'm like uh nothing man and i was just like uh just to let you know like you're the reason i got it it was so embarrassing it was so bad what do you bro. say though he, he was, just he was like, like oh. thanks man he was like super energetic he was yeah, like cool. he's like you know normal guy yeah. normal guy so but he's cool he was a cool guy i will say him and max were actually cool people yeah. uh Sha i don't know if you know Charlie. No. So he's the I know Christian the Guzman. He's I know cool. Chris Bumstead. I will say, yeah. uh, he's very weird. He's Ooh. weird, Christian. Really? He's like weird and like a. His energy is very like like, um, what's the term? Hollywood, not fake, but like you almost like you can't tell if he's being himself yeah. or if he's that's an act. Like yeah, I mean, but some people are like I understand. That. Like because it's, you meet it's, people all yeah, the time. Yeah. You kind of have to put up an act. Yeah. yeah, so I get it. I it's mean, an image. That's how I feel sometimes. Like you know, 
Yeah. Well, you're now you're an actor, so. <laughs> well, yeah, but like, when you go to like certain events, like yeah. you're like, oh fuck, I gotta meet these people. It's like See, a, you gotta like mentally prep yourself. Here's my. It could be viewed as a good thing. It could be viewed as a problem. Yeah. I never change. It oh, it's, yeah. it can be a good thing. Yeah. But it can be a bad thing to a point where I'm in an environment where I should have changed. Yeah. I still am the same. I'm still wearing ripped jeans. Yeah. I'm still wearing a t-shirt, oversized anime, and I'm wearing chains and shit. Like, I don't really don't care. Yesterday, we had oh, to go. Same. Yeah, uh, um, Matt. Matt's friends with uh, the, the guy who lives here in Atlanta. Yeah. He's friends with uh, this guy named Shelby, who uh, is a big, like, finance guy here. And he had a membership to this, like, uh, it's called the phone booth here. It's like an underground bar that people, like, network. Yeah. And, and it's like a lounge, bougie, drinking cigars, like, um, predominantly black. Yeah. Uh, but everyone's business people. Yeah. And so I, I just was tagging along. And I came down there, and there was rules to it. They are like, you have to wear a collared shirt, mm. pants without rips. So I'm like, where are they? Like I I hated dressing like that, yeah. but I'm in this environment. I was like, okay, but I still act the same and shit. Like I have tattoos on my hands. Like I can't. I, can't I mean, not. yeah. Like I, for me, it's more so about like okay. Um, I have like a my social battery is like yeah. Are you introverted? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, depends kind on the day. The middle. I'm a lot more like ex- extroverted now. Yeah, than you were before. But like. I still need to like mentally prep myself to like wow, go yeah. talk to all these people. A lot of people are like that though. Yeah. Yeah. You're more probably in the common. I mean, it depends on, I think everybody's extroverted with people they're comfortable with. That's true, you know? dude. Like, That's huge. Yeah. Uh, all right. Now here's a fun thing. Uh, if you could pick any movie character where you could just swap them out for you yeah. to act that role, what would you pick? Oh, that's easy, bro. 007. No, really? Yeah. James Bond. That's my goal. I, so I don't want to be, like, I wouldn't say that that's my goal, but, like, that's my dream. Can you speak Chinese? Yeah. I speak. Would uh, you ever act in China? I uh, will consider it. Okay. But, like, I want to. Start here. I want to do it here, and I, I don't want to feel like I can't hack it. Either. Yeah. You know, I, I'm just trying to, like. Yeah, it's different, Be a professional too. actor. That's it's it also now. very different once you go to, like, China. Yeah. Well, um. But yeah, 007. Uh, I don't want to be like, you know, Jackie Chan type fucking double, like that type of shit. Because yeah. I want to do like action, but like, I don't want to be like the stereotypical fucking like Asian, Asian dude. Oh yeah, he, he knows Kung Fu and like all that Which shit. Which is, this is know? great now that, it, well, how about this? How about the role of like Simu Liu where it's kind of in the middle That's, for Shang-Chi? Yeah. He's like kind of in the middle That's where there is yeah. Kung Fu, yeah. but like. Or like a little bit of martial arts, but it was a lot of no, like that's, cool shit that's too. No, that's definitely a, that's that a, that's a yes. Crazy story. So I'm in, um, do you know who Bart Kwan is? Of course. Of course, Asian, right? And everybody, everybody in Asia, Asians know each other. But uh, so I'm in uh, 20, 2018 or 2017. I'm in LA for the first time. Um, this is when LA was better. Yeah. Now LA is like dirty, it's yeah. homeless everywhere. But this was when it was a little bit better. I'm back in uh, there and it was my last day. I was alone. So I was like, oh, I'm going to go check out Barbell Brigade, his gym. Yeah. I go there. It's a quiet day. Bart's not there because uh, he only works out at like 5 a.m. So I'm like, all right, well, I, it was like four or five people there. I'm working out. I'm vlogging at this time. So I'm still like filming myself, doing workouts. And I see this guy with a cameraman. But the camera's small. It's kind of like my camera. It's nothing yeah. crazy. And this guy is a handsome ass, yoked Asian dude. Yeah. And uh, he asked about my camera because we were working out next to each other in the bench press area. Um, and he goes like, oh, what kind of camera is that? And I was like, yeah, Canon and M50, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, what's that? Blah, 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 blah. And um, he was like, oh, yeah, it's cool, man. All right. And then he left me alone. I left him alone because it was like it's an empty gym. We're all going to w- work out. That person was Simu Lu, bro. I didn't know because he wasn't big at the time. What? Yeah, so I, I remembered his face. Oh wait, I think I saw like one of uh one of those videos back then, like uh Bart Kwan and uh, Bro, what Simulu. the fuck yeah. are the odds of that? So he, uh, he that was him working out. Yeah, I think Bart Bart was training him or something. Yeah, or I don't something. know for sure, but I know Simu lived there at yeah. the time and so he might have just gone to that gym regularly. Yeah. And um I remember seeing his face and then literally like a month after that, they had, uh, Marvel announced that there was going to be finally an Asian actor yeah. in it and it was Simi Liu. And oh, I was I, like, I, I know all about how he like, I was like, shit, you bitch, bro. I could have gotten a picture with it because he wasn't big. I didn't know who the yeah. fuck he was at the time. Because uh, at that time, he said before that role, he only had small roles. Yeah. Uh, roles in Wong, Wong Fu Productions. And like, I um, that too. yeah. And he also had, um, he was a, whatchamacallit, a model for uh, those stock photos oh okay yeah that's how he started i so actually did uh stock photos for uh 
and she stayed. Oh yeah? yeah. Did they pay you? Yeah. Nice. I mean, not much. But yeah, but still, so, yeah. it's nice, dude. So hey, similar, similar. <laughs> to this I mean, so what he did, I, I saw like his process was like he sort of like he was like tweet uh, tweeting like back then. He was like, hey, Marvel, like. Uh, when is there gonna be like a you know uh, a- Asian uh, like superhero and all that shit? Yeah, and like it just it happened for him. Wow, you know, he, he was persistent. I mean, it wasn't like because of him. But yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, Good fucking shit, dude. Yeah, he he just right place, right time. Um, it and, only yeah. takes that one, bro. It only it takes only that takes one. that one blow up, yeah. and then you're you're set. You're set. But dude. I mean, I'm not thinking about blow ups right now. Yeah. I'm just thinking. Well, you about have like, to build the resume. Yeah, right now my my resume is like mainly, um, you know, random people from uh, different Facebook groups. Uh, some Doing stuff, events. Yeah, uh, film. little films from there. Uh, there's some that are pretty professional now, I would say. Yeah. Uh, and uh, slowly building my way towards like. Are you um, looking for more? You said you wanted to be action, right? That's you're you're leaning towards action over like a drama or comedy, right? No. Uh, or it's open. I'm open. Open. But like, if you want to ask my dream role, yeah, it's exactly. like something like 007. I feel like me, I would, I, I wouldn't be good at it. But well I, well, I would be good at comedy. I would, I would definitely be in that yeah, comedy for sure. Yeah, I would love that. And but then also like drama, bro. Drama is fun. Drama is so cool. Drama is fun. The best part for me is uh, bitching people out. <laughs> yeah, can you cry? No, I can't do that either. See, some people, so a lot of actors, actually, well-known actors, can't do it. Yeah, exactly. It's normal. I was gonna say normal. like it, it doesn't. I mean, crying is cool and all, but like, um, there's ways around it now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, you don't. You don't gotta. Like most of the time, like if somebody can cry, they're like, okay. He's definitely a decent actor for sure. Yeah. But like, just because you can't cry doesn't yeah. mean like, oh, he's terrible. You know? Do you have um, a strategy, or will you have a strategy? I mean, it's still early in your acting career. Yeah. But like, are you gonna be method? Are you gonna be like any of those specific like subcategories of actors, like okay, in order to so practice for their role? Method, that's, that's a that's, that's a big maybe because okay. like for me, um, there's two types of like actors. Like usually, usually I would say yeah. there's like personality actors and there's character actors. Character actors are like, you know, Joaquin Phoenix, you know, Heath Ledger, like all the oh, yeah. like they very specific. They turn into a totally different person. You know, but like personality actors is like The Rock, uh, Ryan Reynolds. I you know, see. Like, I see. You can still always have that essence of who they are. Yeah. You know, okay. I feel like for me, at least for now, I'm yeah. better at like showing who I am. Yeah. Versus like character. Acting, I feel like I this is going to be a tough, this is going to be a rough take and someone's going to give me shit for this. I feel like personality actors get more roles, but, uh, the other ones get more acclaim. Like those are the ones who get the Oscars and the because yeah. like they really fucking like it, body a character. It does make sense. Yeah, because I mean, then if you're, I mean, if you're a personality actor. Anytime that someone needs that personality, boom, like Kevin Hart. He's been like a fucking Hart, a yeah, million. Exactly. Like you, you, you watch you know, the movie. Like, oh, it's this motherfucker. <laughs> I don't even know his names in the movies. I'm just like, that's Kevin. Yeah, Hart. that's him. You know, like it. But yeah, for me, I'm just gonna you know capitalize on like my. Who I am. What'd you grow up watching the most? Like, what was your favorite type of movies? 007, what else? Bro. What did you obsess over? Uh, Movies-wise? Or, or TV? Uh, so, Pirates of the... Really? Caribbean. Really? Is okay. my shit. I, I play that shit almost every day. That's wild. Like, I always, I like, whatever I'm doing, like, yeah. if I'm sitting here, I'm gonna have something on TV. Yeah. And it's either one of my favorite video games or it's... Yeah, I saw uh, the Uncharted. Yeah, Uncharted. I love Uncharted, bro. I, I keep that shit, like, it's a whole I 10 hour, bro. I, I just bro. be sitting here, like, let that shit play the whole day. This is awesome. Uh, Pirates of the uh, Caribbean, um, you know, movies like 50 First Dates. Oh, 50 First Dates uh, is a good one. That's classic. Role Models. Uh, Role Models is a good one. I like them raunchy, like, fucking like, Old comedies. school yeah, comedies. Like Harold and Kumar and shit like oh, that. Oh, dude. Fucking, yeah. Talk about uh, early Asian actors. That tapped in. Harold was one. That yeah, he he was one of the first. If you think about yeah. it, like in American culture, there's like certain Asian actors back then. I felt like if they were acting now, like as their prime, yeah, they would be like it'd be different. Yeah, it'd be different know, level. But like, I don't I don't think like society I mean, yeah. was ready for. Well, think about Harold's character. Like th- at that time period, was there any Asian comedy like like normal? No guy no. not like a gay asian or like yeah. a the typecast just like a normal dude yeah that was that was nuts yeah he was like the only only one the I mean, really steven yun yeah he's really 
fucked a white girl on camera. Dude. That was the first time in oh, history that, that happened. You that, know that? That's crazy. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, with wa- Maggie and Walking yeah, Dead. Yeah, Walking Dead. And I, I remember watching that. I was like fucking like 13, bro. I was like, because I'm into white girls. So yeah. like, not, not only, but like yeah. predominantly. And I was just like, holy shit. Yeah. We got one. We got one. I mean, yeah. So <laughs> we're finally it, trailblazing, it, it, dude. It's it's crazy. Like you. Parasite you won the Oscar. Uh, everything, and then everything, uh, everywhere, all yeah, at once, exactly. finally won. And then uh, you know the guy, um, the guy in everything, everywhere, all at once. He's he's part Vietnamese. He uh, he became because he. How do you pronounce his name? Uh, Kwan. Fucking, I, I don't fucking know. Or some shit. Yeah, yeah, something like that. But yeah. he he's. I'm pretty sure he's full Viet or a part Viet. Yeah. But anyways, he um, he was the kid in. Uh, um, Indiana Jones a long yeah. time ago and like the kid. Goonies right yeah wasn't that like. crazy to think about like, and I think he like stopped acting for a long time nuts and dude. then like I don't know I, I, I'd i be watching like um, fucking actors so I used to hike a lot yeah and I'll That's fucking cool. sit there for like three hours and like just listen to like either actor podcasts Wow. Or like acting education mm. which like the education helped but like it, I think that was this shit was more like uh, business of acting mm. you know I didn't really like gain like acting skills from it you know if, if that makes sense do you think and this is tough to say because it's so early yeah but do you think how much I don't want to word this way or make it like not ass kissing but how much like schmoozing is in the industry in order to get a role do you think it's more about to me I'm not kissing nobody's ass you yeah. know uh, so I have one guy that I met like at like a networking event right yeah um, and he, so, I mean, these aren't like big roles anyways. Like, yeah, as it's not about the like big or not, but he like, Hey, you talk. And then we're like, okay. Uh, he's like, we got, I got a role for you and, and all that shit. And like, he just kept on trying to like, well, you emphasize. gotta suck my dick. I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, he, he just tried to like emphasize like, Oh, uh, by the way, I'm going to be the le- leading guy and leading guy and all uh. that shit. And then like at the end of that shit, he was like, Oh, um, Oh, it was nice meeting me. Whoa. Yeah, and he, he said that? Yeah. What the fuck? Dude, what? I was like, Who is this guy? Have you done lost your fucking in my mind? Like I didn't yeah. say anything at then, but like I know That's exactly weird. what the fuck this motherfucker is. He's another actor? Yeah. What the fuck? And then uh What an ego. So he DM'd me like the audition and shit like that. Yeah. And like I didn't really respond because like I just Fuck that guy. Yeah, I was like, nah, fuck that. And then uh he like he asked me like are, are you still interested? And I said like, um, no, because yeah. I don't appreciate what you said to me. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't think that's appropriate either. Yeah. You know, at a fucking networking event. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's it's to answer your question. No, like I'm, I'm not gonna kiss nobody's ass. Yeah. You know? Do you, how how is the networking scene in Atlanta? Is it so? Because I know in LA it's easy to network. However, the bad thing about LA is yeah. everyone's fake as shit. So everyone's going to be like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll hit you up. Never talk to you again. Yeah. That's the LA thing. But how is that in so Atlanta? So I would say- um, Still early though. I know you've only been here for a month. But first week, I, I started going to like networking events. Yeah? For sure, yeah. How often are they? Or is it free? Bro, Do you have to be members? Uh, like- most are free. Yeah. Like they have like sometimes like uh, little get togethers like every, every week. Yeah. Uh, and then there's also like- um, specific events like i went to one that was like uh, at a at an acting studio oh. that one had like 300 people whoa but these are like these are paid the okay. big ones are like paid so what do you do at these events let's say like Bro. is there food is there drinks is there, what is um it? so when i go there right stripper I'm just uh <laughs> when i go there i because i don't know anybody yeah and i'm i'm slowly getting to know people obviously yeah, yeah. but um I just kind of like sit there and I'm like, hmm. Ah. And I'm always late to things too. Oh, so by the nice. time, by the time I get there, right? Everybody's, everybody's got already got, like got their like you know, little clicks going. Yeah. I'm like, <sighs> you know, like, yeah. And then sometimes I'll get lucky. I'll see somebody that I met at like the smaller network yeah. events. I'm like, hey, what's going on? And then like, uh. I got to like make my way into that but like if not bro like what like i'm not gonna sit here and I like a, you know I, a whole group and i'm just like so what's going on here yeah you know, like, i would be really bad because yeah. i would just pick the pretty girls and the hot ones I'd be like, what's up <laughs> start flirting yeah i mean I, I i get it you know but but yeah you know. dude that's that's crazy the world of acting man when uh when you were a little what did you want to be when you were the youngest that you can remember 
Bro. I wanted to work at McDonald's. Isn't that crazy? Are you serious? Yeah, at Ford. I told my parents, because I loved it so much, like the food. I was like, I want to work at McDonald's. Mm, I, so I don't know, like, from, like, young, young, but, like, when I was, like, 13. Yeah. When I first got into, like, basketball. Oh, yeah. But, like, you know, those dreams get crushed very fast. Yeah. Did you, you know? play in high school? Uh, no. Yeah, see, that's... I, I could have played, but, like, I, yeah. I was a... You were pretty good. I, was a, I remember. I was a pussy, you know? Yeah. Just, uh... Isn't it crazy to think about, like, how we were back then? Because I was dude, a pussy, too. Dude, I... In high school? And in college, I was a pussy. Yeah, and then pretty much, like... Dude, I was in a frat in college. <laughs> like, the fuck? I, that helped you, right? I would say. You know? Depends. Uh, it helped me get my first job, yeah. insurance. It uh, helped me party. It, there was a lot of party. Yeah. Uh, it helped me meet people, yeah. but then again, I'm not really connected to much much of those people um, anymore. Not really. There's a few that I'm like, I'll we're still friends, yeah. but it, it, it for some people, it is good. Yeah. If you're really about that life and like really want to live that lifestyle, meet yeah. your best friends there, pay for that and all that shit, party all the time. But it, I don't know. For me, it was like, if I were to do it again, I probably wouldn't have. Damn. Yeah. I, I In Wilmington, I might have just because if without it, I feel like I don't know what I would have done. Yeah. Like party-wise and yeah. stuff, have fun. But if I was in another school that was bigger, like NC State or something, I probably wouldn't have. See, yeah. that's the thing. I, I have like a, another friend. He, he says like it changes life. At you fraternity? That he went to yeah he went to a frat and then like he it changed his life. How so for him? Like he just got like social Connection. yeah connections, yeah, yeah you know like no he, some, some best, yeah best friends of his life yeah, him, yeah. see um, socially to be honest I still feel like I learned more socially after college yeah mm-hmm. and working at the nail salon and like talking to girls there yeah. dude it, and the main thing was my confidence was at my all time low in college low in college and high school yeah uh, because the environment that you're in in a fraternity uh, is everyone's now for the first time adults right but we're new adults we're 18 yeah. 19 so we're still kind of young-minded yeah. we're comparing each other for, to each other and like it was a very like oh like oh how many girls have you slept with like kind of like that kind of coach so you're like constantly like oh fuck i need to fuck girls yeah. and like that's not good because like you're not really and i wasn't finding myself i was i was attaching myself to these guys trying to look like them and i'm asian i was the only asian in the frat too so that was like another thing everyone was white so like, i was trying to look white and then after college, I was like, what the fuck was I doing? And then I started getting tatted. I started doing my own style. I was like, I like this way more. Like, it's, it's more me. Yeah, and a great example is in college, dude, I didn't even watch anime. Yeah. Now I love anime. I used to watch anime back then. Only too. anime I watch is uh, Dragon Ball. Classic. That's Most guys do. Only thing, though. I've tried, like, since I was a kid, I watched Dragon Ball. Really? I still watch Dragon Ball, like, when I feel like it. Why can't you watch anything else? I now? tried. I, I fucking tried. Just like uh, another cartoon. That's crazy. Is, uh, my, my favorite cartoon is uh, Scooby Doo. Love it. Um, Classic. And favorite superhero is Spider Man. Also love it. So Classic. though, but once I get attached to one thing, I, I'm uh, I'm more like a either I love it or I hate it. Yeah. Uh, there's no in between for me. How did your parents feel about the acting pursuit? Because they're Asian. Bro, they, they have no clue. Yeah. They have no fucking still. Clue. They're not on social media. Are no, they're. Okay, we're good. We're good. Uh, That's crazy. What did you? What do you tell them? So I mean, that's hilarious, bro. You didn't tell your fucking parents about your acting. That's awesome. A classic Asian move. They have no fucking clue. You I mean, only tell them when there's money. When there's money. Yeah. Yeah. But then like you'll my, tell them. my fam is they're very uh, Americanized and all that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like my my dad's like he's been here since he was like young young. Oh uh, okay. But um, okay. So it's not like the classic Asian dad. Yeah. But it's more so. Um, I want to like have some results, like yeah. Before I tell what him. what did you tell him to move to Atlanta? Uh, so what I said was I have one friend here, yeah, which I do. Uh, he, Hassan, he's a great friend of mine. Yeah. Um, and I just need a new change, and they also feel like I need a new change, anyways, because yeah. like, like I said, without acting, I'm like, like a lost soul. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. Also, North Carolina is a slower pace. If you're going into acting, um, a lot of entertainment, it's, North Carolina is probably not good for that. Yeah, I think the biggest thing is like everything. Everything in Atlanta is just more intense, and, and I think like 
I, I enjoy it. Like, this is yeah. like where I thrive. Like, yeah. I'm, I was, uh, I, I, I lived in Hong Kong before for like seven years. So oh, that's like, crazy. I've been in city life. Hong Kong is yeah, crazy. And I lived in New York City for like yeah. two years. So I'm used to, I, I know what city life is. It also uh, is good for creativity. Uh, I know in the comedy space, yeah, I dabble. I'm not like super, like I do stand up every now and then, but, um, there's a, a lot of like big stand up people. They, yeah. they purposely put themselves in area, even the richest, richest ones. They yeah. purposely will, will take like a six month leave and live in like New York or live like where it's not super rich and not super, cause then you get to see the chaos. So you don't lose yourself. Yeah. Like you don't lose yourself in like a, and if you like, let's say, let's say you get really successful, right? Yeah. And you buy a stupidly nice house in North Carolina or like somewhere else, you're going to miss all the chaotic stuff that you need to continue to be creative. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think that's very important for actors. I mean, to, my goal, honestly, uh, within the next two years is to buy a house in Atlanta. That'd be dope. Uh, that's, that's definitely I'm one coming of my to goals. visit. Um, Get a fucking Atlanta house and then get a uh, guest room, bro. My family, they're actually moving to California, which is crazy. So I think around like 29 to 30 ish, I think 29, I'm going to try to get over there yeah, and then hopefully have like a, a house here yeah. either as an Airbnb or like a rental property. Oh, that's genius. You know, that, that's my goal. Um, that's smart. And then you have one on both sides and whenever you need to film somewhere. Exactly. Yeah. You know, what's another um, spot that's slowly growing in film, uh, mm-hmm. Albuquerque, New Mexico. Yeah. Netflix is headquarters there now. Some stuff, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, I remember like seeing some like Stranger, Stranger Things, Things is yep. like filmed there. Yeah. Like, it's uh, Originally, a long time ago, uh, Breaking Bad and yeah. uh, a couple projects were there. So it's They're saying that um, North Carolina is actually Growing? starting to have some film studios over wow. there. But uh, I'll join. <laughs> it, the problem is like for me in my yeah. case, right? I ain't got time to waste. No, like, I ain't got time to sit here like, oh, let me wait till. And then if if it does happen, you can think about it later. Yeah. But right now, dial I, I'm not. I'm not ever gonna be. Yeah. going back to North Carolina, man. It's too slow. It, it's 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 too slow, and I love the, I love how like Atlanta is like a, for to me it's it's like a good in between of like, a city city. Yeah. And like a suburb. You know, like it's a good balance, right in between. Well, the thing about Atlanta that I was talking to my friend Matt about no. is, go to bed. It is uh, so. Yeah. It's so wide. The metropolitan of Atlanta is so wide. Yeah. Like there's so many little provinces, like Duluth, like uh, Char, Char, whatever the fuck. And then uh, you have Chambly. Chambly. That's yeah, where yeah, he's yeah. from. And then uh, we have uh, here, which is. Um, Buckhead, Buckhead, which yeah. is like a, a huge area. It's like it's almost own, own little city, but it's considered Atlanta yeah. still. So it's like it's so wide. It's it's like Charlotte if Charlotte was smushed and wide and spread, like yeah. everywhere. I'm still learning. Like they, they got something called like ITP OTP. I think it's What's like that? inside the perimeter, perimeter uh, yeah. versus like outside. And I just I, call I it metro no and non metro. That's dude, what I, I no call it. Blue, the thing about Atlanta. Is, that is annoying though. Yeah. Is whenever I search up somewhere I gotta go, yeah. it's 20, 40 minutes. Like 20 to 40 minutes, bro. Yeah. Like we're going out tonight. Yeah. Me and my boy. Yeah. 20 or 40 minutes. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> I mean, it depends on where you live though. That's true. But usually, so for example, uh, going to like Muay Thai, for example, yeah. um, it's, it's right around like downtown. Yeah. And it takes no traffic. It takes me fucking like 13, 12 minutes. But okay. like usually if I go at nighttime, bro, like it's either fucking thirty to forty, dude. Damn, bro. Yeah, it's fucking so it's just by traffic. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, don't forget me when you're famous, by the way. Uh, <laughs> I won't forget you when I'm famous too. Yeah, yeah we'll both do that. We'll continue. We'll, we'll do another pod. Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask you something. Um, specific. Oh yeah, I'm not ask you. If you need, if you're ever in Chambly, well, what well, on your cheap meal days, your your two days, right? What do you, what are your go to options first off? Damn. So right now, bro, because yeah. like the Asian food is actually- I was about to say, this is like a bro, hot spot, so, son. Like I said, like I live in Hong Kong, right? Yeah. And like, there's like things that like, I haven't gotten to eat in Raleigh uh-huh. for like 10 years, like from Hong Kong shit, you know? Yeah. And like now over here, they actually got like the Hong Kong shit. They got like actual yeah. Chinese So food. what Not I'm trying bullshit. to do is like pretty much like every weekend, I'll try like something new. Okay. Yeah, you know, I'll try like a new. What's okay? New restaurant. Let's let's talk about this. What's your? Let's talk about food first. Okay. Best Asian for food, 
and worst Asian for food? Like a culture. Oh. Your least favorite and your most favorite. Damn. Fuck, that's tough. Man. I know, dude, because there's so many goddamn Asians. I can't <laughs> say, okay, so I can never say like, so Chinese is always going to be like one of my favorites. Yeah, that's your culture. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah. You know what's one Japanese Chinese dish? Is, is you know what's one, one Chinese dish I don't fuck with, though? What? The fucking black bean fucking... Um, the it's like, ribs? No, it's uh, it's like this gelatin thing, but it's like in a spicy sauce. Uh, uh, I don't know what the fuck... It's like a spicy oil. Yeah. I don't know. I had it. It's Szechuan, actually, so yeah. I don't know if that... Is that Chinese? Szechuan? Yeah. Okay. It's, yeah, it's, it, they, they mainly eat, like, sp- spicy. Actually. Yeah, it's... That, so, that's it. I, it's just je- it's literally jelly in spicy ass chili oil with yeah. some black beans on it and I was just so shocked I was like what the fuck is this you're talking about like, are, like noodles kind of they have like some kind sort of, of yeah there's like a that. noodle form of it too yeah it's, yeah, yeah. it's okay it's, uh, is it cold no this one wasn't oh no but it was know. spicy but I was just like Ugh. yeah I mean I but like other, other foods are good yeah dude. I stick with like anything you know fucking meats mainly yeah, yeah. y'all are heavy on that I'm like uh I don't know. I don't want to call myself a meathead, but like, I guess I am. All right. So what's the best Asian culture for food? Fuck dude. I have my pick. I think, I think. (sighs) And I'm the same way. I would like to say Vietnamese. I would like to say, say, let's, so let's say like Chinese is somewhere. It's somewhere on the top. Somewhere on the top. top. Of course. Uh, course. Same with me. For me, it'll be either like probably Japanese. That's a good one. Because they have Sushi, really, fucking, they have really good variety. Udon, they yeah, have they have fucking, like all kind of variety. They have steaks, you know, and anything you want. R- ramen. Vietnamese is like really good too. Vietnamese um, is good. That's in the top for me. But I'm gonna say number one for me is Koreans. That's funny because that's your least. I don't. They put that cheese on that I like shit, Korean son. Food. I like I like Korean food, but like I don't ever see myself like going to Korean spots for some reason. Korean barbecue Korean son. barbecue's different though. I'm talking about like real like, you know, regular dishes. They got them wings stuff. down too, bro. Okay, Their yeah, wings yeah. are the wings gas are, too. The wings are fire. And um, all right, I'm, I'm trying to think for my least favorite and that's a tough one. I might have to say Thai. I love Thai food, but it's the most generic. Like if you get okay. Thai food, it's always going to be kind of the same. Like Pad Thai. Yeah, yeah if, you, if you get a Thai like, spot that's like really good. like It's hard to find though. That's really hard to find. Over here, there's a few. Like, yeah. Decent. Um, I, I get what you're saying, though. They're all like, oh, it's Pad Thai or Pad Ki Mao. Or, yeah, it's like, like the know, same like, 20 like, options. Same Duck, fucking thing. Yeah. 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 Um, now, hottest Asian girls and least hottest Asian girls. <laughs> hottest Asian girls. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, dude. Um, That's tough for me, too. I have to think about this. Damn, I don't even... Off the top of my head, like I don't even know like a fucking Asian girl. When you dated, did you date, like, Asian, or did you date, like, other... Dude, I bone, like, everything. Nice. (laughs) Cultured. I I have most, like, if you look at my list, it's, like, 95% white girls. And then there's, like, 5% others. Like, it'll be, like, Hispanic. Did one Asian once. I've never gone full black. I think I've did a light skin. I think it's mainly, for me, um, I, like... You know, my some of my friends they don't believe me, but I tell them I don't actually have a type. Wow, that's crazy! I you know, got I no actually type. don't have a type, but like because I I think like every race has like you know beautiful baddies, people. Yeah. yeah, like every every fucking race. Yeah, that is that is true. You know, but what is the best Asian race for baddies? Asian race for baddies, <laughs> yeah. or Asian uh, culture for baddies? I I have to pick one too. I I don't want to say Vietnamese because they're crazy, but I might have to say Viet. No, 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 not Viet, not Viet. Korean? Maybe Korean girls? I might say Korean girls, bro. Maybe Korean girls, I would say. Japanese are too, like, shy. See, the thing is, Japanese, I haven't really met too many Japanese. Chinese intimidate me, bro. Chinese girls are either, one, scary, or two, they're going to want to, uh, like, buy the most bougiest shit. You're talking about, like, stereotypical fucking, Hell like, yeah, tiger moms. Yeah. Like, either, yeah. One, you're, either one, you're a fucking tiger, or two, yeah. you're, like, bougie as fuck. You're wearing Louis Vuitton everything. Yeah. I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> I, I, I get it. You know, I'm definitely, I mean, no. I might put China last because of, because of that reason for girls. Nope. Just because of the fucking, it's either that, money or scary. Yeah. Uh, but top, I. Korean. I think I'm going to put Korean. Uh, Korean. Probably. Yeah. I've been with, or it's either Korean or Jap. Yeah. The Japs, bro. Ja- Japanese, I just haven't had like 
enough interactions with Japanese oh, yeah. people for me to like. Yeah, that's about, valid. You know? Well, what's your next project after all this? What, what are you doing the rest of the day? Uh, so today I'm probably wrap it up here. I don't know. I'll probably go grab some food somewhere. Study a little bit. You study definitely up. study some acting. Yeah. I, Dude, I'm it, filming tomorrow yeah? and Sunday. If you need a good sushi spot, yeah. my guy Matt in uh, Char, 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 what was that place you Chambly. said? Chambly. Chambly. Yeah. He has this fucking one sushi spot there. Yeah. Fuck, dude. I had one of the best what, rolls I've called? had on the East Coast. Uh, I, I'm going to pull it up. I saw uh, Yoko, there's, right? There's two Is su- it called Yoko? There's two sushi spots. We went to one yesterday. I On my story, that one's okay. Yeah. That one's fine. The one we went last time, I'm going to have to ask him. It's modern, though. Don't yeah. think of, like, old school sushi, traditional. Yeah. The one we went to yesterday was traditional. Yeah. This one is modern as fuck, and we got this one roll, bro. They put, it sounds weird, but truffle and Parmesan cheese... Oh, I mean, that what does, bro? They don't that might have been one of the I'm, you, what's the name top again? twenty sushis I've ever had. I'll, I'll have to, I'll, I'll search it up. Yeah. I, I, I got to find it for you because that shit, I was just like, fuck. And it was, it was a bumping spot too. Like everyone there was like young, yeah. hip. Like it was cool. Yeah, the, yeah, that's that's one thing I love about like Atlanta. Atlanta, yeah. Fucking, it's young. It's a lot more hip. It's so hip. You know, though. I don't think I'm hip, but like, yeah, I'm still relatively young. Yeah, I like the diversity here. Exactly. Although one thing that I I haven't found yet is I haven't found going to a uh, out. Well, you don't go out and drink, so you you won't find this. But I'm trying to find a place in Atlanta that I can go out and there's like tatted diversity. Like t- I like uh, tatted people. I like like edgy. I like like emo. Like I'm usually dressing like ripped jeans and shit. Yeah, yeah. But I haven't found that here yet. It's usually like either really white and like, or a club, like everyone's dressed up really nice yeah. or like hood as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> as Atlanta's got a lot of hood yeah, culture too. I went to like salsa club before. Yeah? I mean, my first week here. Okay. I mean, I don't really know how to do salsa, but I'm probably gonna take like, a few classes. Cool. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's sick though. Uh, I how did, was like, that? Karaoke and shit like oh, that. Oh, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. I do all that Is there a lot of karaoke here? Uh, where the Asian people are. Yeah, there. I would assume so because there's so many fucking Korean yeah, restaurants. A- Damn, man. Well, hey, we. I'm going to wish you the best of luck and I know it's going to happen. Yeah. We're going to manifest this shit. Uh, next time we do a podcast, I want to see you fucking the next... Let's see. Um, I'm a, Anything, man. Like- I'm trying to base you off of a specific character, though. Then, or a specific actor that like is going down that same path. Who is a big Asian uh, action actor? There's not really many besides like the classic, like Jack Chan, Bruce Jet Li. Lee. Jet Li, yeah. yeah. Is there a guy? Because Bruce Lee's son was supposed to be it, actually, but then he died. You know about that? No. Brandon Lee. So Brandon Lee, uh, Bruce Lee married, uh, when he came over here, he started acting, right? He did the whole like uh, Enter the Dragon, all that shit. Yeah. And then he married a white woman, yeah. had a uh, mixed son, Brandon Lee. Brandon Lee was pursuing acting as well. And he was supposed to be like the Asian actor that kind of breaks the mold, still does Kung Fu, I yeah. mean, martial arts and shit, but doesn't only do that. Like does shooters, does all that. But then in an incident, it, uh, there was an, a real bullet in the, in the scene and he actually got shot or something like that. Yeah. yeah. So it's sort of like, uh, what's his like, name? Um, I forgot. I'm name. thinking about the same guy. Yep, where he yeah. accidentally killed somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, that shit's fucking it's scary, bro. You gotta be careful. That's just scary. I mean, it's it's off. It's based off of whoever is the um, the, the prop people. Prop people. Yeah, yeah prop. I guys. mean, but when you say like Asian actors, there's really not many like male Asian actors. Yeah, dude. like that are, you know, I don't know, like big. If you want to say like, there's, there's Steven Yun. Se- Steven Yun, of course. Um. <laughs> Sim- That's it. Simu Lu. Yeah, yeah Simu Lu is now um, on top of the game. Kehu Kwan, I guess. Yes. Uh, I think that might be it, bro. Yeah. Because the Netflix guy is not that big yet. We've got. Um, I, I, God, bro, there's so much room. I mean, there probably is, but. And they also say. Um, I don't know if there is, bro. I'm still thinking yeah, about is it. There, right now. Is there no more? Like big ones? Not yeah. really. Like mainstream? We're talking about mainstream, bro. Like. I'm thinking of every fucking. A- it's usually Steven Yeun. Yeah, because you, 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 we're not thinking of like the ones in Asia though. No, no, no. no. Like, we're talking about mainstream, yeah. main, main, mainstream, dude. Uh, pull out your phone. Search up. God, my phone's being used right now. Search up top Asian male actors right now. Okay. Because right. I'm like curious. Is there? I feel like we're fucking up. Oh, um, what's his name? Henry Golding. 
Oh yeah, I forgot about that. But he's like Malaysian, I think. Yeah. Oh, Ken Jeong, but Ken Jeong does just comedy. Ken Jeong, yeah. Uh, who else? John Cho doesn't do much. Who's John Cho? You know John Cho. Let me see his face. Harold and Kumar. Oh, John Cho. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know who used to be had some roles, but he like just fell off. I who? guess uh, the guy that was in the movie Twenty Two or Twenty One and younger. What? Ah, fuck. Forgot his name. He used to be with Nigahiga and stuff. Um. He got a few acting roles and that like he had his own movie where he was a lead and then just fell off. Damn, the there's of really not many. Yeah. I literally, bro, that you gotta tap in, dog. Oh, there's uh I think like Charles Melton. Who the fuck is that? He What has he played? I forgot. He was like in some T V series and Well, you know. there you go. We gotta we gotta make a statement, dude. Yeah, I mean I'm There's so much there's so much room too, because like I remember when there was a um uh, well, Kim's Convenience is an example, but yeah. there's another show of, was it Fresh Off the Boat? Fresh Off the Boat, yeah. when that came out, bro, I resonated with all that shit. I was like, dude, that's nuts. Yeah, that's I think so there's more uh, prominent, like, female Asian actors. There is. You know, uh, like Ali, Arden Cho, Ali Wong, just, Ali Wong yeah, Arden Cho, um, um, Stephanie, Michelle Yeoh. Stephanie. Fam, 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 Yeah. Ching Chong, Wing Wong. Yeah, um, so. I'm, I'm hoping to represent. Let's do it. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here, man. Yeah, Everybody you. follow thank him you. on his uh, website and also his Instagram. Yeah, my uh, website just came out today. Official? Official? No, no. Actually. Oh, actually. My bad. Actually, Kevin Tin. Yeah. Tin? Yeah. Got it. All right. Thanks, man. Thank Appreciate you. it. See you guys next week.